Morning guys, how are you all this morning? So it's uh, bright and early, actually just turned seven o'clock. I'm on my way to the post office because when they try and deliver a parcel and you're not in, they leave you this stupid little card and make you drive uh, all over the place to go and pick it up. So I'm here this morning to come and pick it up. I've actually been up for quite a while, but I uh, wanted to pop out and get this as they only open at seven o'clock. Uh, I've been doing work this morning. Jade's in bed because she's got a day off today because she quite often, well, she works weekends, so she always has a day off during the week. So I also thought I should get out of the house for a little while and leave her in peace. Otherwise, I have this overwhelming uh, desire to wake her up because uh, I like spending time with her. <laughs> so, uh, and she gets the arm if I do that. So I thought I would leave her alone for a little while. And also, I thought I would answer this question this morning because I keep getting asked it over and over and over again, and it's beginning to jar me. So, I am going to answer this question, and that question is, who is Brooke? In the comments, I get asked it several times, any time she's ever mentioned. So, I figure now I will be able to answer it in a little bit more depth. I'm sure I've answered it a hundred times before, but I'll go into a little bit more detail this time. So a number of years ago, I believe about six to seven years ago, uh, Jade and I met uh, Brooke and Jody through a specific situation that I'm not gonna go into because it's not really my place to tell. But we came across them two and I just had this feeling that they needed me to help them. So it's difficult to kind of explain really, but Brooke was very young. Brooke was only about 13. Uh, Jody is uh, Brooke's older sister, and if you don't know who Jody is, you need to go back and watch a whole bunch of videos. Uh, Jody is like one of my best friends. Jody's like my sister, really. Jody's a bit like my little sister, and uh, there's loads of videos of Jody and I on this channel. Um, if you search for like the AJ Show, for example, and Jody and I have run businesses together. Like Jody's a very, very important person in my life. But uh, Brooke, like I say, is Jody's little sister. And when I met her, she was only, I think, 13, uh, I think, something like that. And she just seemed, uh, it, there was a situation whereby they really didn't have much in the way of parenting going on. Uh, that's, that's all I say about, about it. And uh, I just felt like um, Brooke just needed something in her life a little bit extra. And I kind of just made sure that I just spent a ridiculous amount of time with her. Uh, she was always kind of a bit timid. Um maybe lacking confidence, I don't know, whatever was going on, but maybe it was just a situation, who knows, anyway, I'm waffling. So I kind of, every time I ever went and did anything at all, if I was going to the shop, or if I was going to pick up fireworks, or if I was going to buy some food or whatever, I used to just say to Brooke, come on, um, you can come with me. Um, Jody even lived with me for a while, um, and I just spent a ridiculous amount of time with Brooke, and then during that time, I feel like she kind of took bits of me and embedded it into her own personality. And uh, I think, I ho hopefully, um, it's done her some good because she's just started work now. She's a young lady now. And she's um, kicking ass instantly. And I like to think I had just a little bit to do with that. And a little bit to do with the fact that she's just turned into the most uh, beautiful, outgoing, uh, woman, I can take Brooke absolutely anywhere to meet family, clients, whatever it may be, and uh, she'll hold her own and, and, and have a conversation and put herself across and look people in the eye and talk to them. And she's just fantastic, and I lo absolutely love the pieces of her. She she's uh, one of my uh, most proudest thi uh, things in life. I, I absolutely adore her, and and Brooke really is like my adopted daughter. I guess that's kind of the relationship that we've got. But as we've kind of both got older or as Brooks got older really our relationship has developed uh, into a friendship and we spend lots of time together and we just have we just have a great time all the time and uh, it's one of the like the most kind of special bits of my life really uh, spending time with Brooks spending time with George and obviously the family and Jade as well um, so yeah anyway getting emotional here so that is that, I just thought I would explain that to you. And um, yeah, I don't know really what else to say about it and now is probably a good time to move on. So, just popped into Waitrose to grab a little bit of morning breakfast. Oh yes, 
very nice indeed. And I'm going to go home and uh, make Jade a nice cup of tea in bed, really as a kind of excuse so I can wake her up and not get told off too much. So here's my two parcels. Now I've no idea what they are, but every day I get a delivery from Amazon it seems. And uh, let's take a look at what we have got. Now this could be insanely boring, so um, I do apologize if it is. And in fact, 99% chance it will be. But I figured I would chuck this in because I do get deliveries every day, almost. So I figure maybe it's quite a fun little uh, segment to put in the uh, show. So, ah, here we go, not so boring. Well, it is boring, I suppose. But it is a label printer. So I want to start like labeling up some of my cables for the Mac Pro and stuff like that so I can very easily unplug it and plug it back in and not have to wonder what or what order the monitor cables went in. So, got myself a little label printer. Uh, it was only about 20 pounds, I believe, which I think is a uh, pretty damn good value. Looks like you do get some kind of uh, tape uh, included in it, some kind of stickery type tape that you load up in it. But it looks like a pretty cool machine, I would say. So yeah, that's package number one. Now package number two, and I always open my packages with a uh, surgeon's scalpel, just because I'm a very precision kind of person. Here we go. And I really have no idea what this is. Uh, I order so much stuff and then I just forget what it is. But we will see. Oh, in fact, I might have just remembered what this is. If it is what I think it is, then it is insanely boring. The packaging that Amazon uses is a bit over the top. Ah, yes, very boring. It's just a little filing thing for putting your documents and stuff in. I've got like all my new blog books for the cars and insurance details. Uh, I spoke to you guys about my new house insurance, all of that kind of stuff. I just want to chuck it all into this little folder. And this thing expands uh, into quite a large size, as you can see here. It was only a few pounds, but I just figured it would help a little bit with the kind of uh, paperwork <laughs> organisation. Babe? Babe? You gonna get up now? Oh, come on. Just for a little while? In the spirit of opening packages, I have got just come through another package delivered by DHL. So I figured I would show you guys what is in this one as well. So let's just open this up. It's quite a difficult thing to do. <laughs> One handed, I've got to tell you. But let's give it a go anyway. I've no idea what this is. Ah, instantly I can see what it is. It is a new wireless camera for my CCTV system in the house. Uh, recommended by my friend uh, Sonny. Or Sonny? Sony? <laughs> Money Mason, uh, who recommended this to me. So I'm going to try this one out. It hooks up to my Synology NAS and dynamically records on there. And then obviously you can connect to it through an app or a web page or whatever you want uh, in addition to that as well. So this one is model F19821W, 720p, uh, SD card support, etc. But personally, I let it upload to Synology and then I synchronize it into the cloud. So I've got a copy of it even if someone comes in and steals the NAS box or the drive or the camera itself. But anyway, there you go guys, that is my latest purchase. So I thought I would show you guys this. I've got the first one of my new CCTV cameras set up. So this particular one, as you saw in the new box, was the uh, FOSCAM. And this is the web portal that you can go on to kind of see what's going on. Now if you want to, you can also uh, move the camera around as well if you want, like this, left to right, no problem whatsoever. You can move it up, down. You can also set up your own setup uh, preset cruises as well. So it actually cruises along a certain path that you can set up yourself, which I've got set up to do every so often. And then on my Synology box, I've got a thing called Surveillance Station, which is th uh, free 
with Synology and in here you can see all of the recordings that we've got and then if I actually click on one of these and say download then it instantly starts playing back over here that particular segment and you can set that up to record however often you want or all the time I have mine recording all the time and then I set a limit to about 120 gigs which is a week's worth and that is just constantly recording all the time onto my Synology box and then that Synology box synchronizes to another Synology box which is in a very secure area in my house which would not be possible to remove it unless you had maybe a sledgehammer or something um, and probably a few people to actually get it out so even if the people steal the Synology box that's in my room I've still got a full copy of everything up in a secure unit in a, in a hidden area in the house and then also it, if there is activity it takes pictures at certain times of the day when I'm not in uh, I can set that and they get uploaded to an FTP site so that would also be uh, captured so it's pretty good and I've got quite a few of these little cameras around the house but I'm going to be updating them with these newer versions uh, over the next couple of months so I'll have sort of three or four and I've also got an outdoor one as well so it works extremely well for those of you that are interested in this kind of stuff so I've had yet another delivery and perhaps it isn't a good idea showing you guys my deliveries because I get way too many but here we go it is the Breaking Bad bobblehead Walter White looking exceptional this was inspired by Jonathan at TLD. So, um, someone again just very kindly used my Amazon affiliate link for a large purchase. And this time it was uh, John from a very well known phone uh, selling company. I should have put that in a more professional way, but basically uh, he runs a company called Clove. And some of you will have heard that name before, but they sell unlocked handsets. So I wanted to just say a big thank you to John for using that affiliate link and also to say to you guys as well, if there's anyone, uh, I, I'm not sure how far abroad they sell, but obviously they sell in the UK, I'm not sure if they sell further than that, have a look on the website at clove.co.uk and anyone who wants a phone that is not attached to any kind of network, so SIM free phones, then do go and check out clove.co.uk because they're a great place for all of the latest and greatest handsets and older ones as well where you can just go on there pay your uh, x hundred pounds and, and buy a phone without any obligation to any network and obviously a lot of people prefer to do that as well it works out cheaper if you buy a phone keep it for a couple of years or even a year and replace it with a new one and buy your contract separately on a, on a monthly basis or a yearly basis um, where it's a SIM only contract. Uh, buying the phone and doing that, if you add them both up together over a period of time, actually works out cheaper. So if you are one of those people or you do just want to buy a phone all on its own and maybe you weren't aware you could do so, then do uh, check out clove.co.uk and again a big thank you uh, to John for using my affiliate link. Someone also said as well in regards to affiliate links, and I will shut up about this soon, um, that you can download some extensions for Chrome, uh, put in my like keyword thing, and then every time you go to Amazon, it automatically does it for you. So if anyone is interested in that, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, leave a link or something to whatever my affiliate ID is. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me, and sorry I kind of ended this on a sort of um, me talking about how you guys can help me know but I am rushed off my feet and this is probably the only opportunity I'm going to get to kind of say goodbye and tie up this uh, this vlog so I will be back with you guys tomorrow hope you enjoyed the vlog today I know it was a little bit uh, random today but I, I have had nothing else to do unfortunately uh, in terms of time I've had no time to kind of do anything else uh, I think I just said the same thing twice in a different way but anyway you can tell the day is dragging on. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Have yourselves a great evening. Peace.